Good morning from our final full day here in Ho Chi Minh City. Today we have something pretty exciting planned. We're doing a tour of the Su Chi tunnels. We have heard a few things about the tunnels prior to being here, but we haven't actually experienced them for ourselves yet. So we're on our way to do that now. We're about to get picked up by our driver and it's gonna take about an hour and a half. So I think there's gonna be some traffic. We are about an hour into our drive to the tunnels and we just stopped at a local art studio where mentally and physically disabled people as a result of Agent Orange from the war can come and make beautiful artwork. Sarah's inside right now buying something and they all look absolutely stunning. Oh, here she is. Sarah's right here. You snuck up on me. I was just saying that you bought something. And everything is made from like local things like eggshells, seashells, some resins. They're all beautiful. They're very colorful. Beautiful. They're shiny. So really great artwork. And like I said, they are all made um, from people that are mentally and physically disabled as a result of Agent Orange from the war. So really sad, but good way for them to get involved in the community and make money is what our tour guide said. So yep. gotta support. She asked me where I was from. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? Not good, <laughs> I almost didn't say. We bought something, we're supporting, yeah. and that's what matters. And okay. it's beautiful, so it's not like we bought something out of guilt. Like, no. we bought something because it's genuinely it's really pretty. I wish I could have bought, like, a big one. Like, mm. I would have put that somewhere, but we got it a decent size. Yeah. To take home. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the map. This is Kuchi District. This area, Kuchi District. Now we are here. From here back to District 1. Your hotel here. It takes us 70 kilometers. And from here to Cambodian border, this side, 50 kilometers. So it's not far to attack to the hotel. And not far to escape to Cambodia in emergency. The first level, 3 meter depth. The second level, 6 meter depth and the last level, 9 to 12 meter depth. Yeah, but you know, uh, the enemy drop a lot of bomb. So this easily to destroy the first level of the tunnel. So the soldier just live in the second level and the last level, very deep underground. So there are three levels of the tunnels and it took them 13 years to build by hand. The first level is three meters underground, the second level is six meters, and the last level is nine to 12 meters. You can see, this is the, they get in and it's connect together, how this area, okay? I <laughs> get my leaves on it, right? Yeah. yeah, you gotta cover it up. Two hands up, two hands. Wow. <laughs> good job, good job. I can see you, I can cover see you. All right, you go. good job. Hands up, two hands straight up, slowly, slowly, just slowly, because you had to use width yeah. to make sure it's turned in your body. Tiny in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's small. I don't know. It's small. Oh, no, my shoulders will fit. We'll try it. You have to put yeah. yeah, we'll your body right. we'll smaller. We'll Bye. <laughs> slowly, slowly, wiggle. slowly. Wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> shoulders out. Something else. <laughs> It is darkest. It is dark and small in there. <laughs> I feel like I'm not even that big of a person and I barely fit in there. <laughs> so, wow. So that was an original tunnel that we saw that was used during the war here. Tiny, 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 tiny. Not like this. This one just for tourists to see. Yeah. Okay, they move back for tourists. And the enemy, you move, they move around to find the entrance. And they don't know there's a trap and they fall down here. Yeah, they fall now. Mm. It's made from bamboo. The trap is made from bamboo. And by that original entrance, the trees have some markings on them to designate whether it's an entrance to the tunnels or a booby trap, like we just saw. <laughs> made of bamboo and then machine oil covered on it so that it's durable and hurtful. The entrance and the fighting, the fighting bunker. Like this, they just camouflage on, on their body, the leaf on, and they shoot the enemy when the enemy move around here. And if even the enemy see them, 
they can run inside quickly, no problem. That's why the enemy could not find the, the entrance in the wall. 18,000 people lived there at the start and sadly 12,000 people probably died in the tunnels. They also didn't use light that much because of the lack of oxygen and my mind is blown. And there was no light because there was no electricity in the tunnels so they had to use candles and candles use oxygen and oxygen was already so few and far between down in the tunnels because they're so deep that they just went in darkness and that is crazy to think about. So you might be thinking with no light and a, such a vast maze of tunnels, how do you remember where to go? There were actually contact ladies around so that when someone would hop in, they'd tell them where to go and how to avoid the booby traps. They have the whole gallery of trap here. This first one is the sticking trap. Yeah, to the leg of the enemy, not sure. They could not run. Oh. The ambit trap, window trap. Okay, so we but even with the window, they still make trap. Crocodile mouth. They give away to catfish, but now they catch the enemy. They put inside the mm. river. Seesaw. Oh. Oh. Take a look at this one. Can you eat bomb shack on the shelf the tank? They boy, they recycle to make the weapon on the truck. <laughs> so apparently we can shoot some guns now if we want to at this shooting range. We won't we, we won't be doing that. Sarah might. Sarah's like really excited about it. She like really, really wants to shoot a gun for her first time ever. We split a milk coffee, but it's already gone. <laughs> Let's take a look. The Sendo. Mm. Make from cat tire. And cat tire collect from US. Okay. So this is the the cat tire and inside in the intensive inside. You can take a look. Different kind of uh, sandal is different right now. Two pair. Do you think which one they use in the war? Just take a look right now. This one, we wear like this, right? Put the feet inside to wear. But this one, how can they wear? You say on me. The same, no? Backwards. Oh, backwards. So they're looking like they're going the other way. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you know. The soldiers, they eat the daytime inside the tunnel. In the nighttime, they come out. Yeah. So, cannot see them. So the enemy can follow them by their footprint. That's why they change the back to the front, and the front to the back. So they put the leg inside, they go this way. But the, the footprint, so they go opposite way. So the enemy, they think that way is the entrance, and they follow that way. Mm. We start from here. Okay. We get on, we get inside the tunnel. We get uh, out that way, 20 meter, and one, that's in the meeting room. You see the medical bunker, everything under rail and connect together by the tunnel. And from the meeting room, one more to the kitchen. Okay? So let's let's follow me this way. Yep. Mm. But this is how that way she goes? Yep. You see, three times bigger. Three times bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is tight. We're still going. This is the triangle room that they would sleep in. Now I think we're going to the kitchen. Get in there. <laughs> They're just stamping up. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so this is three times larger than the originals. And it is tiny. So this is the meeting room. This feels good to stand. I cannot believe this is three times larger. So they would just like crawl. If I wasn't sweating before, I am now. We just had the roots that the Vietnamese would eat during the war. Because it was so quiet, they couldn't even fish because that was kind of loud. And so we were guessing what it was, and I guessed cassava, and I was right. So my ego is through the roof. <laughs> and I only know that because I have to eat gluten-free, so cassava fries and cassava things I get a lot. 
I think our time here has ended, so we are heading back to the van to make our two hour drive back to Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah. right yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hour and a half ride back into the city. We just got dropped off at the War Remnants Museum. We're gonna go in, in a bit, but first we're gonna find some lunch because we're hungry. Decided to take a quick grab ride to Den Long. We were here the other night and it is delicious. And they have gluten-free options for Sarah, so that helps immensely. Also, the grab ride was like 10 minutes and cost 38,000 dong, which is like $1.50 US, so kind of a no-brainer. Caramelized pork, Sarah got spring rolls, I also got spring rolls, and Sarah got some other beef dish. Those aren't gonna get though. We're feasting. <laughs> Can't let it drip. You definitely have to come here in Denmark. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. This is the museum. Well, that was um, upsetting, really yeah, depressing to say the least. You learn um, a little bit about the Vietnam War, at least in my experience in the United States. And I did, at least in my history classes, learn about like the war crimes. Like those were definitely like not, those weren't like the first times that I heard about those there um, or Agent Orange or anything else. So nothing was really like new, but it was just seeing like way more graphic images of it all that um, was upsetting, was the most upsetting, I, yeah. I think. I mean, the whole thing's upsetting, but really seeing it, you're like, really just put face to face, literally put face to face with it. Yeah, really, really sad. Don't have many words to say now, but we do think that these experiences are important to have and I don't regret going. Absolutely. See pictures of kids and you know, from like 1970, 1971, and like our parents are, were born in the 60s. Like those kids in those pictures like effectively were our parents like at that age at that time. So like it's such a new, it's so new. Like you see people here that age or even older still. Cause obviously like we still have grandparents alive and stuff too. So seeing even older people is you're just like, wow. Like that happened to you basically right. age, age wise. And the impacts of Agent Orange, it was chemical warfare used, if you don't know what it means, you should probably look it up. And the children that have been born since then, one photo of a child was born in 1997, which is the year KJ was born in. So it's also like our parents mm -hmm. would have been impacted, but also us as children. So it's just like really puts it into perspective how recent this was and how important it is to learn from, hopefully we can learn from some of these lessons and not do this moving forward but unfortunately the state of the world is just kind of sad sometimes but um on a different note we are leaving vietnam tomorrow sadly we have a bit of a trek to get home we have to fly to thailand and then we're staying a night in thailand and then we're flying home from there because of the way flight credits shook out i'll explain more in the next video tomorrow but um yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow when we fly to Bangkok and spend the night there. Yeah. See ya. Waiting mm -hmm. is awful. What? Nice. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. The blue flag car. Got it. Blue car. Dare touch yourself. I won't. So that's good. Cool.